Hey, I'm Austin with Training Tall, and you probably can't tell on camera, but I am six foot eight. But Training Tall is all about giving you the tips and strategies to help you take your fitness and health above the average, no matter how tall you are. And today, we're gonna be talking about neck training and why it's so important for the skinny guys or the tall guys or the tall and skinny guys like me. Because believe it or not, you can train your neck and it's actually super easy to train your neck, see results in your neck and help you better fill out your frame. So we're gonna talk about a couple exercises, how to do them, how often to do them. So let's get into it. Because if you're a tall or a skinny guy or a tall skinny guy, do I even need to remind you about your neck? Maybe it's something that you see every time you look in the mirror. Maybe it's something that you're uncomfortable with. I know for me, it's my biggest body image issue. I mean, shoot, I should be like six foot three, but my neck is like 20 inches long. But with neck training, we can actually better fill out our neck space to make our necks look less long and skinny and more filled out with the rest of our body. Because just like your biceps have muscles, your neck has muscles too. Not only is this good for the aesthetics of balancing out your physique, physique and your body, but there's also a lot of great posture benefits to neck training as well, because if you're a tall guy or a tall girl, you probably stand like this a lot. And helping to work on our posture by strengthening our neck muscles makes posture that much easier and that much more natural and something you don't have to think about as much. And with that being said, let me introduce you to the stylish, the fashionable, the sexy neck harness. Now I'm wearing a neck harness from Demus. They didn't pay me to make this video, but they said, hey, if we send this to you, can you add it into your upcoming neck training video? And I said, sure. What's nice about this neck harness is it's got the adjustable chin strap, which is super cool, so it doesn't slide off your head when you're doing neck exercises. And if it can fit my big freaking giant head, it can fit any head. But when you put these things on, just make sure you've got your chin strap underneath, your little head strap on top and it's just feeling pretty snug on your head. And then you've got this dangly chain here and this dangly chain is used to hold the weights. Now neck harnesses are especially good for working the neck muscles on our backside. Just like how our arms have the biceps and the triceps, our necks have muscles on the front of our necks and the back of our necks. And strengthening those back of the neck muscles is what's really gonna help us with our posture. And that's what this harness is really good for. And so the first neck exercise I wanna show you are neck extensions. You wanna take your neck harness and put a weight through the chain and connect it to the other side of your freaking head. From there, the trick to really feeling this exercise work is to get yourself into a half squat and hinge your body over past parallel to the ground. You want your body actually tilted downward slightly and from this position very slowly, you want to extend your neck back and bring your neck back down. Focusing on keeping your body and your head in that tilted forward position so that way as you extend all the way to the top, you feel tension as opposed to if you didn't lean over all the way, as you lift to the top, the weight becomes parallel with gravity and you don't really feel any tension. The next exercise is the exercise that's really gonna help you stand tall and help you avoid this forward head syndrome that a lot of skinny and tall individuals deal with. This exercise, I call it double chinners because you're gonna get yourself in essentially to that same half squat leaned over position, but this time you want your body parallel to the ground. From here, you're essentially going to tuck in your chin as if you were gonna make a double chin. So you're not extending your neck or bending your neck at all, you're essentially tucking straight up into a double chin position and then pushing your chin straight down. That's gonna be working on those postural neck muscles that are gonna help you stand taller more naturally. It's gonna fix your freaking posture. Now, those two neck exercises are freaking awesome. And as far as incorporating those into your workouts, I would recommend doing those exercises on your back training days or your full body training days. And all you would need are two to four sets of those exercises, somewhere between 12 and 20 reps. Try to keep the reps more on the higher side just because these neck muscles, while they are muscles, they're not super big muscles, and so we don't wanna necessarily overload them too heavy too quickly. So if, especially if you're just a beginner starting off, stick to that rep range, stick to those set ranges, you're gonna start seeing results, even just from one or two times per week. Thanks again to Demus for sending me the neck harness, and I've got an affiliate link for this down in my bio if you guys are interested in picking up your own neck harness. Okay, so we talked about the back of the neck. What about the front of the neck. Well, this one we don't need the neck harness for, but we will want to use a bench. And just like how our arms go through flexion 
and extension to work the tops and the bottoms of the arms. Same thing with our neck. If we just did extension to work the backs of our neck, well now we can do neck flexion to work the front of the neck. For this exercise, we're essentially going to be lying on our backs on the bench with our head off of the edge of the bench with a weight plate on our freaking heads. And this is where I'm going to recommend that you get some sort of padding for your forehead because setting a metal plate on your head does not feel very good, especially when you're pressing up against it for this exercise. So if you bring a towel to the gym, wrap your towel around the edge of where the plate is sitting on your head. That or you can even use one of the foam pads on the squat racks. It actually fits nicely around a plate and just you can hold it in place. That way it gives a little cushion for your precious head. But you can think of this exercise as doing neck curls. You want to start with your head off of the bench and your chin tucked in with the weight plate on your head and very slowly, very steadily lean your head backwards as your chin points to the sky and from there flexing the front of your neck muscles to curl the weight back to the top. Think of these as bicep curls for your neck. Nice, slow, and steady. Make sure you don't go too far back. It's not about bringing your head all the way back down, but just getting your chin to point towards the sky. And just like with your other exercises, working through two to four sets of this exercise, 12 to 20 reps, you are going to be shocked at how many neck gains you start to make. If you've never trained your neck before, it is honestly shocking at how fast your neck muscles respond to this type of training. So don't feel like you need to do 10, 20, a million sets for your neck. You don't. A couple sets a week makes a huge difference. So get yourself a neck harness, find yourself a weight plate and a bench and start incorporating these neck exercises because it's going to help you with your tall or skinny person confidence and it just helps balance out your physique. Whether you're tall or short, it's good to develop all of our muscles all over our body. The point is, you don't have to walk around with a skinny neck. I used to walk around with a skinny neck all the time and maybe my neck isn't the most thickest, meatiest football player neck yet, but it's getting there and you can get there too with this advice here. So I hope this video was helpful to you. Please let me know your thoughts down below if you enjoyed it. What do you think about neck training? Do you do neck training? And if you're interested in more from me, personal coaching from me, follow my website over trainingtall.net and check out my rowing app. Just row if you're interested in follow along rowing workouts. But thanks so much for watching the video. Please let me know what you want to see next down in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.